Have you ever wondered why some people struggle with mood swings, anxiety, brain fog, despite trying many different treatments? Well, it might come down to a biochemical process called methylation. And in today's video, we're gonna dive deep into what methylation is, how it impacts your mental health, and what you can do about it. Hi. I'm Giselle Rosa, a board certified psychiatric nurse practitioner and mental health coach. And on this channel, we take a holistic approach looking at mental health, combining science, self-awareness, and lifestyle strategies that actually move the needle. So if you're all about that skills before pills approach, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So what is methylation? Well, methylation is a simple yet crucial biochemical process involving the transfer of methyl groups in your body. So think of it as a switch that helps to regulate gene expression, neurotransmitter production, and even detoxification. It's also an important part of epigenetics and why certain gene SNPs will express themselves. And so you're probably thinking, well, what is a methyl group? Well, a methyl group is made up of one carbon atom and three hydrogen atoms. And the process involves donating this group from a molecule called S-adenosyl methionine or SAMe, which acts as the body's universal methyl donor. So after SAMe donates this methyl group, it becomes S-adenosyl homocysteine, which is eventually converted into homocysteine. And efficient methylation recycles this homocysteine back into methionine keeping this critical cycle in motion. And so why does methylation matter for mental health? Well, methylation directly influences the production and balance of neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine, which are all vital for mood regulation. So when methylation is off balance, it can actually lead to emotional instability, depression, anxiety, and cognitive issues. It also plays a significant role in managing oxidative stress. You see, proper methylation helps lower homocysteine levels, an amino acid that when elevated can increase inflammation and oxidative stress in the brain and the body. Additionally, methylation supports the synthesis of glutathione, which is one of the body's most important and powerful antioxidants, which is essential for reducing oxidative damage and supporting brain health. And so now let's talk about methylation and epigenetics. You see, one of the most fascinating roles of methylation is in the field of epigenetics or how your environment and lifestyle can actually influence gene expression without changing your DNA sequence. And methylation is a key epigenetic mechanism because it can turn these genes on or off by adding methyl groups to the DNA or histone protein. So this means that even if you have a genetic predisposition or variant like a SNP for certain mental health conditions, how those genes are expressed or silenced can actually be influenced by your diet, your stress levels, your toxin exposure, and overall lifestyle. And now I made a video on epigenetics, and if you wanna understand and learn more about epigenetics, I advise that you go ahead and check that video. But now let's move on to the genetic connection here, which one of the genes is MTHFR, which you've probably heard of because I have a video, of course, on MTHFR. But the gene variation, specifically variants like C677T or A1298C, these genetic variants can significantly slow down your methylation efficiency, affecting your mental wellness by increasing that homocysteine and disrupting your neurotransmitter balance. And there's other methylation genes like MTR and MTRR that you have to take into context and in looking at the whole picture. And of course, the role of COMT in methylation is also important because this enzyme, the COMT enzyme, is responsible for breaking down those catecholamines, dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine, and it depends heavily on proper methylation to function. And of course, as you recall in the video on COMT, and if you don't, I advise you watch that video, but COMT-VAL-158-MET, SNP or variant, 
affects how quickly we clear these neurotransmitters. So when you have Val Val, you have fast, calm activity, clearing your dopamine very quickly, which could lead to lower dopamine levels, contributing to maybe poor focus and attention under stress. You could also have the Met Met allele, which is slowing down your COMT, which clears more dopamine slowly, often resulting in higher dopamine levels. And this may support focus and motivation in the short term, but could also lead to overstimulation, rumination, anxiety, or irritability. And since COMPT is methylation hungry, poor methylation can impair its function. And what I mean by methylation hungry is that it's actually on the back end of the methylation cycle and your MTR, MTHFR, MTRR, all your methylation genes are, are clearing up and these methylation genes are breaking down those B vitamins feeding into the cycle that creates the methionine, lowering homocysteine and going into SAMe, acetonomethionine, which then cycles into the COMT. So COMT is very reliant on this whole process. So it's like the back end of the process. And so when someone with a slow COMT variant takes too many methyl donors and upregulates this methylation process, so methyl donors like methylfolate, uh, methylcobalamin, they may actually feel overstimulated because they cannot optimize the COMT. They, there's too much dumping going on and they can't break down those neurotransmitters. And this is why they may feel very overstimulated or anxious and also why a very personalized approach to supplementation is so important, as well as testing. You see, there are several tests available to check your methylation status, including genetic tests or specialized functional tests, and understanding these results can guide personalized nutrition, lifestyle choices to optimize your brain health, optimize your well-being, and even optimize your overall health. And so let's move on to optimizing your methylation through nutrition. You see, your diet plays a critical role in supporting methylation. And essential nutrients involved in methylation include methylfolate, which is the active form of vitamin B9, and methylcobalamin, which is the active form of vitamin B12. But however, as I just said, caution is necessary when using these methyl donors and using these methyl B vitamins because overmethylation can also lead to symptoms like increased anxiety and irritability, especially in those individuals with the slow COMT function. You can also increase nutrients like vitamin B6, riboflavin, which is vitamin B2, and choline, as well as increasing your antioxidants that are found in foods like berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, your dark chocolate, your nuts, pecans, leafy greens like your kale and spinach, seeds like chia seeds and flax seeds, and spices like cloves and oregano can also be very helpful. It's also important to look at your lifestyle influences. So going beyond nutrition, let's look at lifestyle factors that significantly impact methylation. So number one is stress management through yoga, deep breathing, vagus nerve exercises, mindfulness and meditation practices. These can regulate stress management, which will help support healthy methylation. Number two is improving your sleep quality. And I have a video called the blue light blocking glasses and its effect on mental health and sleep. And it goes over specific sleep hygiene tips that are essential for optimal sleep. So I advise that you check that out. And number three is supporting your gut health. And not only due to the gut brain connection, but also due to the gut's role in proper nutrient absorption and detoxification. And the fourth thing you wanna definitely do is reduce your exposure to environmental toxins, which can lead to poor methylation and detoxification due to overburdening your detox pathways and increasing the demand for methylation and antioxidants. And so why do I believe this methylation is important? Well, it's because many of my clients have experienced noticeable improvements in mood, reduced anxiety, and clearer thinking by optimizing their methylation processes through targeted nutrition, supplementation, and lifestyle adjustments because once I understood their genetic vulnerabilities, it helped to provide the roadmap for optimal health and better overall health outcomes. And so here are some practical tips that I've learned by working with patients. Well, first and foremost, start with genetic testing. Understand your symptoms, which is the phenotype expression of your genes, and optimize your lab values accordingly. 
You see, I used to start with labs and assessing mental health symptoms, which many practitioners do and can be very successful. However, what I found is if you don't know someone's genetic vulnerabilities, you may cause inadvertently adverse effects such as overmethylation. So the genes give us the blueprint on how to optimize your mental health more effectively with less guessing and less risk of adverse effects. The next thing you wanna do is begin supplementation, but do so very slowly and monitor your symptoms. Then regularly track how you're feeling to identify the optimal methylation balance for you because it's gonna be different for every person. And last but not least, always consult with the healthcare professional that's trained in functional or integrative medicine to help provide you with a personalized approach. So in conclusion, Understanding methylation can be life changing. And by recognizing your unique genetic blueprint and biochemical needs, you empower yourself to make informed decisions for better mental health and overall wellness. So do you have any experience optimizing your methylation? If so, go ahead and share your thoughts and experience in the comment section below because we learn from sharing each other's experiences. And as always, I thank you all for watching. I wish you well on your mental health care journey, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.